so in the last class we have discussed about the uh, btcs method um, where we discussed about gauss seidel you know matrix free method gs matrix free method for btcs you can use for any scheme free method and solve okay now this gauss seidel method is a iterative method isn't it so the question comes in this uh, method what about convergence since it is a iterative method what about convergence that is a question okay. so let us look at the convergence of iterative methods and in that most popular method is gauss seidel method gauss seidel okay or jordan okay or any any method okay so what is the requirement in in this case okay so if uh, the uh, <coughs> if any scheme method for any iterative method any iterative method to be convergent to be the residual the residual should residual should fall okay down continuously that is from one iteration another to next iteration okay if this is the case then we say that that iterative method is a convergent method okay if this condition is satisfied condition condition means the residual magnitude of the residual is always less than some specified small number is satisfied then it is guaranteed that then it is guaranteed guaranteed that the iteration iterative scheme the iterative method will converge 
to the correct solution to the correct solution for a okay so sometimes if you find that a particular method is not convergent to a problem it doesn't mean that this residual you know uh, the problem is with the method sometimes the problem may be with the problem itself so the solution for the well posed problem if your problem is not well posed then you cannot ask for this convergence as thing so for the well posed problem only what is the convergence of iterative method okay so for the well posed problem residual should always fall from one iteration to another iteration then the iterative method is well conditioned uh, iterative method is convergent okay but uh, this may not <coughs> but this may not happen but this may not always happen even though even though <clears throat> even though the problem is well posed okay so what is the thing which is stopping so the convergence convergence is dependent on dependent on number 1 the scheme you used scheme used okay so say for example if you are using forward in time and central in space then you have to satisfy these requirements delta x requirement delta t requirement okay so this satisfaction should be there suppose you use btcs then you do not have restriction on delta x delta t in terms of stability but you can uh, uh, you can use this delta x delta t to minimize so here is a stability and you can use delta x delta t for uh, you know round of error minimization of round of error minimization of round of error so it depends upon the scheme used okay for btcs you uh, if you use any this delta x delta t may not be uh, some you know this thing you might get uh, the convergence second thing is uh, the matrix itself the matrix a okay so what kind of matrix you are solving uh, that also matters and in some sense the elements of the matrix also dependent upon the schemes isn't it schemes will decide what uh, the coefficients will be there okay how the coefficients will be arranged in the matrix say for example btcs use then only some matrix things will come ftcs no matrix thing will come suppose you use crank nicholson adi then a matrix coefficients will be uh, affecting in in that manner okay so ultimately the matrix uh, plays a important role in convergence okay so say we are talking about convergence of gauss seidel gauss seidel or jordan method uh, gauss jordan method 
in that case we can say that gauss jordan gauss seidel or jordan iterations will converge iterations will converge if if the matrix a the matrix a matrix a is this is we already see we have done matrix a is diagonally dominant diagonally dominant okay and what is the diagonal dominance criteria that we already seen that it is a scarborough criteria and if that scarborough criteria satisfies okay so for at least one row okay either you should have diagonal dominance aii magnitude should be greater than equals to summation magnitude of aij okay where j is running from 1 and j should not be equals to i so central coefficients or diagonal elements should not come apart from the diagonal elements what is the sum and at least at <coughs> for one row we are expecting that magnitude of ai should be greater than not equals to but greater than and j1 j0 equals to i and number those many elements ai j okay so if this is the case this is the case then we say that diagonal dominance for diagonal dominance for diagonal dominance okay so as an example what we have seen uh, our example was this thing ai j minus 1 n plus 1 minus gamma x t i minus 1 comma j n plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 gamma x plus 2 gamma y t i j minus gamma x T i plus one comma j n plus one minus gamma y t i j plus one is equals to t i j n. So in this case, what is the diagonal dominance case? How you check? So what is your central element? One. One plus two gamma x. Anybody? Just repeat. Hello, Viknesh. Yes, sir. Sir. Just, just tell me what should I write here? Sir, uh, sorry, sir. This, uh, this, this line. I, I didn't uh, hear what, what plus asked, two sir. Gamma y. We want for diagonal dominance. What should be the condition here? One plus two gamma x plus two gamma y. Who is talking now? Johns. Johns. Okay. Plus two gamma y. Then minus. Yeah. So most appropriate condition we should check is the at least for one row. Okay. So let us check this. So what is there then? One. Minus gamma. Minus gamma y. uh should you take minus so, gamma you, should you I take minus you. gamma what should you take gamma x or minus gamma x shinjoy 
gamma x sir it will go right hand side uh, uh, it, it will be absolute value sir so gamma y only pratik right yes uh, what about uh, okay let me just speak with others uh, Aishwarya, oh, there are two Aishwarya. The modulus value, sir, absolute value. Cond, Condinia. Sir, absolute value of gamma. Amer, Amer, Anujit, Amer is absolute there. value. Okay, Ganesh. Gamma wise, sir. Why? Sir, one more question. Actually, whether it no, is... No, no. Co co upon question upon question is not good, okay? <laughs> you are disturbing. See, if you have a question, you can ask any question at any other time, but not during the question. Okay. It is magnitude, na, so... Huh. You, you keep on telling what is there, you just keep on telling. Okay. Hmm. Raghunath. We have to take Raghunath. Raghunath. Am I audible? Uh, not audible. Is my voice lower? Mm, you can type in the chat box in case. Rajesh. Madre. Madar. Uh, Rajesh. Sorry. Rajesh. Slipping, huh? Satvik? Gamma, why? Silly why? Man. Satvik? Yeah, because uh, uh, um, uh, when we uh, compare uh -huh. this, we take modulus, na? Uh, okay, okay. Compare the modulus. Okay, so, okay. so let me not now go more. <coughs> So there were some answers in the beginning, which were telling that it will go right hand side. But if you look at, we are talking about absolute. <clears throat> so the thing is, if you start thinking, then there will not be a question. Okay. Uh, you ask that question first to your mind and then try to find answer. Don't just ask that question to someone and then try to get the answer. Uh, you will get a knowledge that is different, but that exploration of the knowledge will only come when you inquire yourself. Okay. So first try with yourself and then uh, you check the, all the conditions. Okay. All the rules you have studied previously, are they satisfying? So. Okay, so that is the thing. So good that we are talking about magnitude. So just you have to sum. So what do you observe? So this is two gamma x, two gamma y, but there is a one plus two gamma x, two gamma y, isn't it? So this condition is satisfied. So for the BTCS method, we have just seen uh, the present, uh, so, so for BTCS, uh, method, we have seen, seen for the present problem or the previous problem, we can say yesterday's problem. Okay. Satis the discretized PD discretized PD satisfies diagonal dominance criteria. Diagonal dominance criteria. 
ok uh, not only the central elements we should consider okay uh, as an example i have shown for interior points okay so you should check uh, interior okay for interior points as well as boundary points okay so for the the schemes uh, you have used for boundary may not be btcs it can be forward difference backward difference and of a certain order of accuracy also so you should check for these equations these uh, reasons also and one uh, thing is for uh, this diffusion problem for conduction problem uh, conduction dominated problems for conduction dominated problems excuse me sir mm, yes uh, sir that condition sir i didn't understand sir gamma x this one, this, this condition Yes, sir. But here you written sir gamma x, gamma y, gamma x. Yes. Okay, Now sir. understood. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, while writing, it might be written something, but while talking, I just said that two two gamma x plus two gamma y. You know. So. Uh, okay, sir. I don't know whether you are listening. Maybe okay, fine. for conduction dominated problems this particular what you see here so for con con conduction dom this is conduction dominated isn't it here is only conduction is taken isn't it convection is still not there so for conduction dominated problems we may find you know diagonal dominance generally generally the finite difference uh, finite difference and finite volume finite volume discretizations uh, generally with uh, Generally, with finite difference and finite volume discretization, the diagonal dominance is dominance is satisfied. Is satisfied. Okay, but note, this is very important. and still we, that is the reason we have not still you know focused on convection so if you go to in a convection region then life is not that easy okay however for fluid flow however for fluid flow problems <clears throat> fluid flow problems this may not be this may not be the case may not be the case be the case then what should you do then what should you do anybody sir may be over relaxation or under relaxation is it apart from pratik satvik speak up ganesh idea sir what should you do if the method is not convergent how we can make it convergent make the diagonal elements as a dominant one how, how we can make diagonal that is true we should make a diagonal dominant 
because diagonal if dominance there, is a criteria if diagonal dominance is there then you can uh, you know have a convergence but how will make diagonal domi dominance uh, by dividing we will divide the diagonal elements uh, by some values omega values oh johnson but others should also agree na i don't know satvik yes sir, by dividing the diagonal elements with omega amer amer is sleeping anjali Yes, sir. What? How will I ensure the convert? I mean, uh, for this fluid flow problem, uh, this uh, yes, may not sir. convergence may not be the case. Then how will make the system convergent? Using any of the relaxation. Yes. Is true? Are you sure? Yes, sir. Can you explain? If you, observe, to, you just try uh, to convince us, na? No? I will go for uh, either any of this over a relaxation or this uh, the second method. Uh, will you go for over relaxation or under relaxation? What should you go for? If you are saying we should go for relaxation. Should we go for over relaxation or under relaxation? Uh, who is talking? Sagar. Why? But do you agree that we should uh, use omega? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In under okay. uh, dividing with omega, we can increase the value so as to make it to be convergent. Whereas in case of over relaxation, if it is diagonally dominant, then only we will go for over relaxation. I mean, more dominant, then we will go for over relaxation so as to reduce the value. Hmm. Uh, Aswati, yes, I sir. think to ask others also because they. I, um, Aswati, what yes. is your opinion? Yes, uh, we should go for under relaxation. Why? Why do you feel like that? Uh, if we are going for over relaxation, that means uh, we are using over relaxation for the system which are all already in already diagonally dominant. Hmm. Here, over relaxation we are doing for only for. Diagonally dominant. Diagonally yeah. dominant. Mm -hmm. No, no, but uh, let us uh, now you are saying under relaxation should be there. Right? Yes, sir. Then now in that case, under why under relaxation? What is your opinion? Why under relaxation? Hmm? Think. Why we'll go for what om omega value less than one? What this omega value less than one will do? Where we are using this omega? Sorry, sir. Where we are using this omega and using the smaller value of omega. What it will hmm. do? Sir, it will make the system diagonally dominant. Okay. See, sometimes which uh, something which we appreciate, we should be also able to write it in the sense, not just word, uh, but if it is just uh, knowledge, then it might not be sometimes helpful. Okay. Okay, so all the answers uh, who are focusing towards and already we have discussed this thing. So it's just a repetition. So we need a diagonal dominance. So we want something to be done to make the system diagonal dominant. So if you divide that uh, diagonal term by a small number, 
then it can become a large number okay and by that we can you know uh, so we use successive or relaxation or uh, i would say successive relaxation uh, because it can be over or under relaxation okay so successive relaxation okay now when you use successive relaxation uh, what changes will happen in gs sr or gs sor if you have to say sometimes people will generally say gs sor what changes i should make so temperature value which you are calculating t nu at n plus 1 should be written equals to t nu n plus 1 plus anybody anjali 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 are you there yeah uh your voice is not coming you can type if you feel what should i write hello shinjoy shinjoy is there viknesh hello sir, sir am i audible sir yeah you are audible but uh, i let me ask others also because i was checking whether i am audible or not yes aswathi yes sir ah what should i write here t nu is equals to t nu n plus 1 now what should i write here hmm you only told me na omega will use ashwati hello yes sir yeah you only told na omega mm -hmm. will leave is omega mm -hmm. so now tell me how sh what should i write here sir we are using gauss seidel which is matrix free method okay so mm, yes sir ha uh, what should i write here sir may i wait satvik no ashwati what about anjali anjali ha huh? yeah you did not respond previously what should i write here no sir there, there was some icon yeah, popping yeah. up okay uh, what should i write here t nu n plus 1 is equals to t nu n plus 1 plus do you agree that will you use omega somewhere here yes sir omega into 1 my uh, uh, 1 minus omega into omega into what should i write here uh what is gs matrix free algorithm in gs matrix free we do not solve matrix we do not use matrix okay. so how do we right matrix free equation in gs so it is omega into t plus 1 minus omega omega into omega into yeah please please carry on why your will make mistake other you know it's okay 
we are students only na no? we can make mistake but in the exam we should not make mistake <laughs> now we can make what should i write here aishwarya Sir, yeah, I can hear you. Sir, no, no, answer. Ah, but uh, did you attend the last lecture? Suppose without omega, what should I write? Without omega, what should I write? Ashwarya. Ah. Uh, Yes, sir. Hmm. Without omega, what should I write? Uh, In the last lecture, we have discussed, na? Sir. Oh. Uh, uh, I'm not sure whether this is correct. But, um, but last, uh, did you attend the last lecture? Yeah. Okay. Then what was the expression? The residuals. Ah, so speak it up. Why you are not so confident? The residuals. Right. Ah, huh. okay. Residual. Then. Then what should I write? Amir Amir is sleeping ah huh? Vikrash I will not give Amir today attendance huh? yes sir Uh, residual by the coefficient, central ah, coefficient. Central coefficient. So we'll write central coefficient a i i, isn't it? And r also i i i g. Yeah? So Sir. now suppose I have to go for omega, as you said, na? Ashwarya, shall we do uh, multiplication by omega or division by omega? Division by omega, sir. To whom? To whom? A A I A by omega. Ha. So the expression will be omega multiplied by R I J divided by A I, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes. Okay. So this is the uh, equation for Gauss Seidel. successive relaxation then depending on the value of omega if omega is less than 1 then it will be under relaxation isn't it this is there is the reason i have asked this question in the exam and you you have written this all this exam uh, this answers very correctly it means that <coughs> piknesh are Sorry. you drinking something no sir okay your belching you know why is it coming so under relaxation or relaxation so you have written these things but you know as you are now in a offline mode online mode there can be some things okay so you can use these two things under relaxation for convergence okay that is again nothing but stability and then all or relaxation is for increasing the rate of convergence faster convergence okay acceleration of the convergence already it is a convergence but 
acceleration of convergence. See, while doing all this, your contribution is very, very important. If you are not interacting in the class, your interaction doesn't mean that you should ask, uh, uh, I mean, uh, unnecessary questions in the sense, why I'm saying unnecessary, there are two types of questions. One question will arise when student is really uh, thinking and then while thinking, there is a gap and because of that gap or uh, some fundamental understanding, previous fundamental understanding is there, but it is not matching with the previous understanding. So these type of questions and the queries can be always welcome. However, other type of query is also already always welcome. Nobody will say that uh, this thing, but it will be recognized. Okay. If somebody have asked you to, you know, you should ask like this, this and that. Uh, <laughs> I don't know uh, whether, but my experience is also like that. People will try to, you know. So, test, okay. Don't try to test. My testing, I mean, anybody's testing is already done. And that is the reason they are at some other place. Higher than the, you know, <laughs> so no need to do like that. But uh, let us make it more interactive in the sense to understand, okay. So if those things arises, that is fine. Uh, and some approaches like asking question when somebody is asking question, that is not true. That time this doubt and doubt, doubt is not a question. And uh, many times students come with doubt means something else, you know, like what marking scheme will be there or what till this are not doubts doubt is something which is not matching with the previous understanding or some uh, laws are not followed or something something so it may be because maybe the uh, person thought might be wrong okay also it may be possible that whatever the concept you are thinking may also have some lacuna so uh, that in that sense, uh, those lacunas can be always, you know, removed and understanding can be improvised. Other thing I would like to say, I had no plan to say, but um, since this is in online, there might be a possibility that you are just writing from the text. So these things also should not do. Why I'm saying all this because uh, whatever we are doing in this last two lectures, you are going to write a computer program on it. And if you are in a position to write a one computer program, then you can do, uh, you know, uh, similar kind of programming. You can, you know, attempt similar kind of programming, at least in your PhD research or your master research for your thesis. And what I'm going to tell you these methods, matrix free methods, none of the, you know, at least in NIT Calicut, none of the people uh, do this thing. Okay. And still I'm sure that other places, even if you go to YouTube uh, channels of many other, you won't find this content. I'm not boasting in that sense, but what I'm saying is that what we are learning, uh, uh, that is something which is important and uh, if you are in a position to do that program uh, one and program two then from my side I have at least feeling that you know you are now prepared for your uh, programming type of research you know programming based mtech or PhD research and uh, I'm asking this question to uh, sometimes to the students who are PhD, uh, doing PhD, uh, 
because from PhDs our expectations will be little high, isn't it? Because they are already gone through some you know intermediate uh, master's program. So if you find that you are not uh, following, please uh, put some effort and uh, you know get into this. Huh? Just don't be dependent on someone. Uh, don't think that some M-Tech will come and do your research. That is a bad habit. Uh, I mean, that is not good. You know, It's not bad habit, but it's not good. You should try first. And then taking help is not always, you know, crime. But in the exam, taking help is a crime. Those who all may also say, you know, I don't think they will be in a position because I will be telling them the answers. That is the reason they are able to tell you the answer. Otherwise, it's not easy. So sometimes that type of friendship doesn't work. Maybe you feel that you know, some faculties are friends. They give us answers and like that. Friend is not always the one which helps you in your bad things. Okay, Friend is the one who also opposes you while doing bad. You know? He will not support always. Okay. If you say that, okay, let us go to movie or something, I mean, laser thing, then they will support. But then you will say, okay, let us murder someone and <laughs> he will not support you or he will stop you from doing or, you know, if you are doing some wrong things. So maybe at the moment you may feel that somebody who is telling you the answers may be uh, good, but no. That is the dump, dumping of your mind. As a student, our mind should work. End output, we should not worry. You know, these these are just A, B, C, D are just numbers. These grades are just grades. You know, they are no use. Just they are some some criteria, but not success criteria. They may be shortlisting selection. Just to get shortlisted, you are doing, then there is no success. Not only of the company who is going to the recruit or whatever you are doing. Okay. Okay. So uh, this is the thing. Then can I ask a question? What should be a approximate? What is a approximate? or GS, say SOR, without writing any value of omega, what should be A approximate? Hmm? Anybody? Hello? Hello, Viknesh? Yes, sir. What should Sorry. be a approximate? Sorry, sir, I don't have ideas. What is the a approximate for Gauss Seidel? A approximate for Gauss Seidel. What is the a approximate for Gauss Seidel? Viknesh? Aishwarya? Sir, we will take some initial values. Guess value. Anjali. Uh, sir, um, matrix. Uh, matrix. Low. Low. Yeah, lower. some. Yeah. Lower matrix. Isn't it? That is what you mean to say? Yes, sir. Uh, then, Kondinia? 
ऑन दिन या सर हां या समय रज समय जुला यस सर हां व्हाट इज ए अप्रोक्सिमेट फॉर जीएस आई डोंट नो सर uh what is just said by anjali is correct do you agree and what is the reason you do not know kondaniya what do you think that what is the reason you do not know why do you feel that you do not know is it something which you are coming across first time kondaniya Yes, sir. Did you attend the previous classes? After test two. No classes. Ah. Uh, Then you are no a possible candidate. The... You are a possible candidate who will not be in a position to write program computer assignment two. And maybe also end semester will also get affected. you may say that i will cover it sir but uh, you know covering later on is not a uh, good idea <laughs> then that time your guru will be some different okay you will be learning from somebody else <coughs> sir it will be two question form no ha huh? viknesh sir uh, that's why i got confused sir that a means it will be equation form no sir not matrix form for cosec no a is a matrix na when we write ax is equals to b what does it mean a is yes, okay, coefficient matrix yes, okay yes, so yes, a approximate is a term we are already using a means coefficient matrix so what will be the nature of a approximate for gauss seidel what will be the nature of a approximate for gauss jordan viknesh yes sir it will be uh, a 11 a1 can if we can write a1 on a1 to sir and uh, diagonal elements will be uh, at, uh, no not correct viknesh what is difference between gs and gj they are only differing in terms of a approximate a approximate and a they are not same you understand sir last row all will the, be zero sir except last element in gauss jordan gauss jordan what should uh, last you row. write in you tell me in terms of this star fully fully you know yes sir uh, it will be triadiagonal uh, matrix last term will be star sir Other somebody is saying it is a triadiagonal Somebody is a triadiagonal. So as to satisfy server or convergence criteria, I think we need to be triadiagonal. I think. Uh, no, this is not correct. So only diagonal element will be there. Sagar is saying, and who is other? Pratik also saying. Is it true, Viknesh? Do you agree yes. now? Yes, that's what uh, that is what I was telling to trying to tell. Mm, no, when you are trying, when uh, when that time when you were telling, that time you were talking about a. Yes, sir. A and a approximate. A is same for G S and G J. A is same for Gauss Seidel and Gauss Jordan, but a approximate is different. In Gauss Seidel, a approximate is a lower triangular matrix. and in gauss jordan the only diagonal approximate is a diagonal matrix okay yes that is a nature so what is a, a approximate for gssor you can now write isn't it yes sir now i ask now what is omega optimum omega optimum for btcs method btcs for this uh, this is the equation already we have taken isn't it yes sir sir we have gauss estimate yeah yeah okay okay so this is the homework i am giving you okay 
okay this is the question i am posing but also it is a homework but it is a homework when it is a homework you are likely to i don't know copy or something like that i am not that negative but these are some of the things which are generally observed so what is omega optimal for btcs this is a homework okay i am going to give you a homework this is our homework okay then ah uh, chalo uh viknesh yes sir i need uh, extra class na yes sir uh, so have you arranged that yes sir uh, you told uh, saturday you can you will inform uh, so this saturday, saturday you can this saturday 17 na so 17 there is a conference um so i may be uh, you know busy with that yes, so you were telling me that uh, during monday to friday some free time Absolutely. is there yes sir Absolutely. so ask the other students also like ashwarya and from the other departments yes sir mechanical thermal uh, i mean apart from energy there are some thermal students and phd students so phd students will be mostly free okay yes but sometimes they may be having other course so just find out a common time with them thermal we have to thermal and then uh, we have material students also two material students so just check out their timings okay sir. and uh, next week we'll schedule in between okay wednesday yes. wednesday i am completely free so wednesday we can think of yes sir okay sir huh Okay, depending sir, on the class committee also huh? maybe next week there will be a class committee meeting so if it comes we will have to yes so, but let us make one wednesday afternoon uh, just ask what is the situation maybe from 2 to something like so three lectures we can cover or maybe two we can cover this week and two uh, after 27 will be difficult maybe you know on some saturday yes sir after 27 ug will start so i will be taking six classes of ug per week yes sir next week wednesday 22nd is there sir ha uh, then saturday coming coming saturday 18 uh 18 no no 18 no. or maybe in the so next week christmas. after wednesday maybe that is christmas sir on saturday that is okay sir uh it's okay to me but uh okay sir I'll let's check the... because uh here christmas is celebrated so we'll have to see what is the opinion maybe we'll make one lecture because i want four so wednesday yes, three plus one you know yes sir hmm so on that day we can just make one lecture yes sir so okay huh? i yes, have already sir. done those who they can leave huh? thank you